Oh, hello! That was vaguely Mario-esque. Oh, hello! It's -a me, Sam, and this is uh, After Campfire. <laughs> um, hello everybody, and welcome to After Campfire. My name is Sam Rubenstein, and you are watching me watch a dog. His name is Bob. This is my cousin's puppy. He's about six and a half months old. He's very good for a puppy, but he's also a puppy, and they don't like some of the things he does, like chew on stuff. Like right now. Why? That is a cable. There's electricity running through it. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but I like him a lot. He's very sweet. And he tries really hard, but he's not that, like, well behaved yet, because that's what puppies are like. Not well behaved. Um, but it's okay. He's really good. Ow, <laughs> that hurt. He stepped on my toe. Um, but yeah. So I'm watching this puppy. I'm on spring break, or as the kids call it, spring break. Um, and this is how I've been spending my week off from work, which is nice. Because there's a puppy involved. Like, another puppy. Like, Hank and Bo hanging out, having fun. Even though Hank is not in this room right now, which is really sad, because he should be. But Bo's here, and he's having a great time. As I pet him on the head. Look how happy he is. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. He's so cute! So! Now... <laughs> Now that I've had my fun of this episode, let's get started by asking questions and answering them, and then asking Henry a question, and waiting for him to answer it, because that's what we do on this channel, just a lot of questions with very little answers, <laughs> and a lot of confusion, just a lot. Uh, so I graduate in like two weeks. I have my last in-person class on Monday, like literally, of my uh, of my grad school career is on Monday. It's the last one, which is super duper exciting. I've got graduation uh, mid-May. I got open house coming up for camp. I got Memorial Day for camp coming up. I got job interviews that I've been doing forever because I need to find one. I got a bunch of stuff going on, and I'm super busy. And it's really cool. Also, Passover happened. Happy belated Passover to anyone that watches this. It ends tonight. Happy Easter to anyone that watches this. I don't know. Uh, um, and since Ramadan's coming up, happy Ramadan. Here we go. I'm inclusive. Um, anyway, so my question that I asked Henry was, what's a show that you can watch over and over and over again? And, um... Henry was, like, talking about Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, which is a great show, and I've seen it multiple times, but it's not, like, a relaxing, like, for me, it's not, like, a relaxing, uh, I can watch it over and over again and not, like, not, like, just kind of enjoy it. Like, I just finished all of Foodie Kuri, because I rewatched the original before the last video came out, um, and then was busy with school, and then all of break, I just rewatched um, Alternative and Progressive. Not in that order, because it should be in Progressive and then Alternative, but that's neither here nor there. But stop in the boxes! So yeah, so that's that's been, like, a show that I could always just watch, and, like, I could have it in the background, I could have it, like, on, and, like, really pay attention to it. All good things. Um, right now... For the second time in my life, I'm going back and I'm re-watching Hey Arnold, which has been amazing because it's a really good show. Like, it's, I always, am like, oh, it's a perfect kid show. It's so sad. Actual quotes from Hey Arnold include, but are not limited to, I understand them. It's people I don't understand. It's people I don't trust. It's people I can't be near. Boom! What are you doing? Bo, oh, stop! Look at him! Look at him! Red-handed! Red-handed he's been caught trying to chew on stuff. Is he doing it? Boom! Hey! Thank you. Oh. 
Like, that's an actual quote. Another quote that I was not mentally prepared for is for the moment when Helga's father says, literally, I'm not here to lose to some orphan and his, gra and his like, feeble old grandparents. He brought the fact that Arnold's an orphan into this. <laughs> Wild. There's episodes on like dying things and like a bunch of really sad stuff. There's episodes about racism. I didn't like. Okay, hey Arnold, I see you. I get what you're about. <laughs> Very good show. So I'm rewatching that, and I probably could rewatch it again afterwards. Um, I could always rewatch Avatar: The Last Airbender. I just love it. Is is the better of the two? Korra, not a fan. Avatar, great job. I just I relate to Aang better. <laughs> so yeah, so that's my answer to my own question. Henry asked me, what's a toy that I would love if they made for adults? And I said Legos. And he said, that's not fair. And I said, why not? I have this habit of chewing things and then bringing them to me, thinking that I want them like a shoe. I don't want this. But I also don't want you chewing on it. He tries. He tries really hard. He's a good puppy. <coughs> so, yeah. <coughs> so if it's not Legos, I don't even know what um what toy I would like to get because. I love Legos. Ugh. And then, like, another toy, which would be like, oh, like, they should make it for adults. I'd say, like, Nerf. But, like, I know adults who Nerf, like, competitively. But, like, it ain't that, because that already exists. Like, I mean, I guess you can make the Nerfs, like, stronger or something. But, like, even that exists. Like, I don't... I just want Legos to be, like, okay again. <laughs> Maybe. Oh God. <laughs> God damn. I don't know. <laughs> um, stuff for like I not like. Bop it? Can we have, like, a giant thing of Bop it? Those also already exist. Like, I don't know. I think any toy that exists as a kid exists as an adult, and you just have to play with it. Like, that's a bad question. It's not a bad question. I just don't have a good answer to that question. And I'm sure Henry's gonna come up with this giant thing, and it's gonna be beautiful, and I'm gonna be very confused. <coughs> so... With that said, Henry, it's springtime. In New Jersey, that means the weather's getting nice. The sun is shining. Birds are chirping. There's amazing, amazing things going on all across the state. What is some new outdoor activity, or activity in general, that you think I should try this spring? All right, answer that. What should I try doing? Let me know. Goodbye.